you joined me in not the most clement weather. Um, today's goal um, is to go from here, the Agueil de Santi, head over to Sommet des Hollandais, Mundo Donial, Pas de l'Ours, Le Nombre, over through to Round Top, back down to one of these routes down to the Santi. I don't know how realistic that is today. Um, weather is a lower than I thought it was. It's like less than 20 degrees. Um, this is the driest I'm going to be for a little while. Uh, and I don't know, I just, I'm hoping for the best, but also I may have to cut back at some point and that's okay, even though that's not what I want to do. Um, I should have mentioned I'm in sudden. Sudden round top is my goal today. So this is break number one, or real break number one. I'm already starting to feel a little out of it, so I am going to refuel, um, probably with mango slices. I bought an 800 gram bag of mango slices yesterday. I'm probably gonna be absolutely sick of them by the time I eat through them, but. So this is one of the scenic viewpoints on Samed des Arandes. It is pretty though. They're chickadees. Chickadees are cute. I don't see the chickadees though. I only hear them. So I've just arrived from over there uh, to the actual summit of uh, the Summit des Hollandais. And like other viewpoints, there is no actual view on this occasion. I'm sure it's gorgeous normally, but you can almost see the outline of something. So this is what I can see. Like other points, absolutely nothing. Except for the occasional burst of vapor coming up off here. Like that. And yeah, there's basically a sheer drop there. So I'm not going anywhere near there because I can die if I do. Uh, and dying is not recommended. I've arrived at the Dodonyal, which is 110 meters up. Uh, I believe it's a local maximum. I don't know if it counts as a summit as such. I should probably review the trail while I'm at it. Um, it's actually quite well done. It's There's lots of aménagement on it, so such that it's uh, easier to walk on. There are a few climbing bits, but nothing. You actually have to drop your poles and scramble up. I'm assuming the only reason there's anything here is because it's a junction, because there is nothing at all to see here, and that's not just because it's rainy. There is nothing to see here. Welcome to the junction between the uh, Southern Trails and the Santi de l'Estrie Trails. So over in front of me is the trail up to Mont Echo, which I did about three years ago. It's a very nice view. Not super wide, but it's a nice view. And over there is the Nombri Trail, which I just came down and I'm in Le Nombri right now. And over that way is Round Top, or Sommeron if you're of the Santi de l'Estrie persuasion. I am stopping for lunch. I'm starting to lose my concentration, slip and not pay attention where I'm putting my feet, which is not a good thing when you have uh, this much water on your trail everywhere. So I'm gonna eat standing up. Um, there's more shelter here than there would be at the top of a mountain. If you're curious, today's lunch is uh, ham and cheese, basically. Um, I wasn't expecting to rain all day, but I have eaten. I've moved my phone to the waterproof, waterproof pouch. Um, which I need more of these. I should buy at least another one, if not two more. Um, they're really handy. They're good for putting stuff together. Um, yeah, I'm wet. My feet are wet. I have just reached the junction for uh, Santi Solitaire, which is apparently a Santi Expa, and given that you can't really see the trail beyond a few meters, um, I'm inclined to believe that. I'm not going down there. I will instead be going this way to uh, round top. Well, I've made it to the round top junction because it branches off from the main trail and heads up another 500 meters that way. I'm honestly still having some fun, but having less and less fun and being more and more miserable. The trail looks more often than not like that. My shoes are completely saturated with water to the point where it's annoying, but I also no longer care, which is both a good and a bad thing, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this on a rainy day. I don't know why I'd committed to this. 
I have it from people who are climbing down as I took my phone out that there is no view at the top, which I was 99% certain of the case. And well, that's on me. I chose today. I love geology. I wish I was geologically competent. Ooh, climbing rope. That means I should put my phone away and actually do the thing I'm supposed to. So, welcome to the legendary view of Round Top, where you can see my hiking sticks and my backpack, as well as where everything is supposed to be. You can almost see Mount Washington, you can almost see the river that's five kilometers away. Uh, this it's actually a neat touch and it's a nice consolation prize for people like me who decide to come out on the worst day of the year for this kind of stuff so yeah i'll definitely be back here because i hear nothing but good things about it when there's a view so i would definitely come back and it's not too cold it's not windy uh, which is really welcome it's not pouring right at the top but yeah i, I did pick a the stink river day. I'm about 500 meters from the visitor center and I was gonna do it all in one go but then I found this. It's a creek or a stream. It's two creeks or streams. It's a confluence. Awesome. So unless something else cool comes up, uh, see you down there. Somewhere. Down there. So I just got in about five minutes ago uh, and spent that time stretching and just catching my breath before filming something. Overall, uh, first of all, it's not raining anymore, so that's nice. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm fine, things went well, I still had fun, as much as I could, considering the weather, but I genuinely had fun. It was quiet, um, only on the way down did I see anybody, really, with one exception. It was nice. But also, my feet, again, are soaking wet. I had to keep moving, otherwise I would get cold. Once I was moving, it was fine, but whenever I stopped, it was not great. And I can see my car, and I'm so I'm, uh, yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye. Have a good one.